Fear Allah and his slaves. Uh, Islam is uh, uh, bees. You know, uh, just to remind you, Allah in the Quran, he threatened my people, the Arab Christians, long time ago. And he told them, if you don't believe in Allah, if you don't fear me, I'm going to erase your eyebrows and your mouth and your face and I will make it backward. And then the Christians, they rough at Muhammad and said, yeah, right. Okay, well, we are, we are waiting for your God to say what he promised. And until now, we are waiting. So, if you fear Allah, that's because you're a donkey. Your God, Allah, at least he could not keep his promise. He threatened the Christians and the Jews, not only the Christians. And by the way, your God is so stupid. Still, he called us the people of the book. Yet we don't believe in him. So he agreed that we have a true book, yet we don't agree on him. And yet you think we're right, because that's what it means, people of the book. <laughs> and the translation is false, by the way. It says, you who been given the book. That's false. It says, people of the book. Actually, no, no, no. Actually, this verse is, it says Utu. You are, he's right. It says Utu. I just saw it. All right. Believe in what we have sent down, confirming what is with you. So the stupid Mumimi Hijab, he keeps saying the Bible is corrupt, but the stupid Quran says, confirming what is with us. And this is why we love at Muhammadan and we love at Islam and we love at Muhammad. He is just an idiot. So what the problem? Muhammad, he confirmed the book with them, but the Jews and the Christian don't confirm the book with him because it's false. Now, you know, that. what does that mean? That means you are an idiot. And then Allah is talking, saying, before we liberate faces and turn them up their back, which means your face will be to the back. That will be funny. So now if I want to walk, I want to walk backward because my face, my eyes and my in the back. Or curse them as we curse the people of Saba. And this has happened 1400 years ago. And still we are waiting. Have you even seen one of the Christians or the Jews from the time of Muhammad until now? He woke up in the morning and he found that his face is backward and Allah erased his faces and his, his mouth. By the way, translation is false. Not Musu Juhan mean we are going to erase everything in the face. So you will have a face, but there's nothing there. And you know, if, uh, the Muslim, they are perfect in translation. This is Arbery. I don't know what Arbery he do for a living, but you know, I mean, he's, he's Arboring for us. You go to different translator, you will find different uh, words and different uh, zucchini. I mean, every Muslim, he have his own Quran. There's no Quran in the Quran because the translation is dependent. Oh, who you have given the scriptures between two bracket Christians, Jews and Christians. Believe in what we revealed to Muhammad as W.O. This is short wave, you know, long wave. Confirming what is already with you. Well, heck, you are confirming what is with us. What about you make a book to confirm what is with your book? Before we efface your faces. What does that mean? By making the back of the neck. Without nose, mouth, eyes, etc. I like that, etc. by the way. By the way, the first one who used the word, etc., is Allah. Proving scientifically. So the Abdul who is saying to me, fear Allah, I say to you, you are a donkey. Ah, hold on. Did I say donkey? That's not nice. Uh, it's not me. You're a prophet, he said. Another threat. That the one who raised his head before the Imam, which means during the prayer, Allah will erase his head sorry, will we'll change his face from a human to a face of a donkey. Another false threat from false prophet. Have you ever seen any Mohammedan who raised his head before the Imam finished the prayer? And there's billions of them since the time of Muhammad. His head became a head of a donkey. Have you ever seen one?
So what this threat is about? And why Allah want to make the head of somebody, he is praying, he is supplicating to Allah. By mistake, he raised his head up. He didn't see because, you know, when you put your head down and your ass is up and there's a guy in front of you, you see nothing. You don't see even the imam. You see an ass of a person. So the guy, he raised his head up. And now the penalty for raising your head before the imam is making your head the head of a donkey. I mean, obviously, Muhammad is a smart donkey. And why I say he's a smart donkey? Because the people who follow him are donkeys, but they are dumb to believe in such a thing. You see, your God will not make people donkeys, head of a donkey for rape, for theft, for killing, but he will make your head the head of a donkey for raising your head. And you are a Muslim praising Allah a second ago. Just a second, you are not even, you are in the moment you are praising Allah. Just because you left your head up, he will make your head the head of a donkey. And this is why the Muslims, they choose who they will debate. So they can look like they are the one who knows what they are talking about. And the other guy, he do not know. And this is exactly what happened. 